my kitchen. You guys, this is the first cooking video of 2021. And y'all, I had a taste for some pinto beans. I have been wanting some pinto beans for several weeks now. So I said, okay, how about we just go on in the kitchen and fix some. My husband even went to KNW the other day and they didn't even have any pinto beans. So I said, let me get in this kitchen and fix me some pinto beans. So that's what we're making today. And usually when I get my bags of pinto beans, I just take them out of the bag and pour them in here. I don't need a whole lot because it's just me and my husband. So I'll probably fix maybe a couple of cups of these dry pinto beans. I'm going to cut up some onion to add to my beans. And because these are small, I'm going to do at least two onions. I might do a little bit more. I'm going to add some salt, just a little bit of salt, some black pepper, and a little bit of crushed red pepper. I'll also be using some minced garlic. I'm going to use, I want a little bit of broth like I ordinarily you would use or I would use like a chicken broth. So um, if you've been following me for a while you know that I don't like the broth in the boxes I like to do my own broth using this better than bouillon roasted chicken chicken base so I'm gonna be adding a little bit of this I'm gonna add just a little bit of bacon grease just a little bit y'all just a little bit and then I'm not gonna do ham hocks I have been using this Goya it's a ham flavored concentrate um, and it's a flavored seasoning and it says this packet provides the flavor of one fourth pound of smoked country ham add this packet to your recipes where ham flavor is desirable so this is the Goya packets that I'm going to use and this is the box this is what it looks like in the store I have been using this for years anything that I want to get some ham flavor in and I don't want to use ham hock or ham bone this is what I use just to give me that flavor okay so of course I have thoroughly washed my hands and I'm so proud of those of you who have made the decision or the new year resolution that you're not going to be in the kitchen anymore with nasty hands okay my mama would call you a nasty buzzard so we're not going to be nasty buzzards in 2021 in the kitchen. We're going to be in there with clean hands while we're in there cooking, fixing food, and serving folk. Okay? All right. So I'm going to start by, y'all, I, I wash my beans. I like to rinse my beans off. And any of the beans that look like they are a little challenged or may have a little something extra going on, we pick those out. Okay? So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm starting with two cups of beans and I'm just going to add them to my strainer and just get them rinsed off really good before I start to cook them. I remember my mom used to do this and she would have them on the counter. And when she'd come across those little special looking beans, she'd just slide them right on off that counter. And let me give you an example of some beans that look a little special. Let's see. Like him. Okay, here are just a few. See, look at these beans, you guys. They, they, they look a little special. Okay, so I just go through and anything that looks a little strange, we discard. Okay, so I'm just going to finish rinsing these beans and picking out the ones that do not belong. And then we'll get them in the pot to cook. It wasn't too bad. I didn't have to discard 
too many of the beans but I wanted to give you another close-up of exactly you know what I look for when I go through and do my bean inspection and I just pull all of these little pitiful looking beans out so now I'm going to add my onion and it really you know you don't have to cut them too small because they're gonna really cook down and let's see I like a lot of onion Okay, I didn't use quite both of those little small onions that I had prepared. Then I'm going to add my little bit of my better than bouillon roasted chicken. That's going to give me flavor. Now I'm going to add a little bit of bacon grease. My garlic. want some of that garlic juice too. My Goya seasoning. I'm going to add two packs. I'm going to add some black pepper. Just a little bit of salt because again I've added that um, my roasted chicken broth. A little bit of crushed pepper and again this is not going to be spicy it just gives it some flavor. And then we're going to start with about two and a half cups of water and you guys I don't like my beans watery. I like them to have, I like them to, to kind of be thick and have a little gravy to them. So I don't use too much water. So now I'm going to turn my burner on high. And I'm going to let this come to a boil. And then I'm going to turn it down. Now, as it's cooking and the water cooks down, I have another pot here. And I will turn this water on when I need it or right before I need it to get it boiling hot too because I, as I add water to my beans as they cook down, I never add cold water. I will always add the boiling water. That way it will keep the current temperature. So I'm going to cover the beans and they're going to come to a boil. And it's going to take about, about three and a half hours three three and a half hours to cook my beans now my my mother-in-law my very first mother-in-law when she would do pinto beans you guys she used to turn them on let them boil for about 15 minutes and then cut the burner off she would leave the burner off for at least 45 minutes to an hour and just let them just sit there in the hot water then she would turn it back on to allow the pinto beans to finish cooking and she said that doing it that way helps cut down on the gas. 
Y'all, now I've done that before. Uh, I'm not doing that today, but when I tell you, I'm sure my husband would appreciate it. <laughs> if I turn them off and let them sit for about 45 minutes to an hour before I turn the beans back on. But we're not going to do that today. And I think it maybe helps them cook quicker too. But honestly, you guys, that's what she used to do. But we're going to let these come to a boil. And then we're going to turn them down. Let them continue to cook. And as they cook and that water cooks down, then I will add my hot water to the beans. Again, you don't want them soupy. I don't like them soupy. I like them have that little, little gravy to them and that little thickness to them. Mm, what you say, y'all? That's some good eating. Okay? So we're going to let these cook. We have a good rolling boil going on. So now I'm going to turn down my burner. And then we're going to let these beans continue to cook, like I said, for at least about three, three and a half hours. And then I'll add water as the water cooks down. So it is three and a half hours. And our pinto beans are done. You guys, look at these beautiful beans. They are totally, totally done. I had to add water about three times. And I want to zoom in so you guys can just look at them and just see how they have that creaminess about them. Look at these delicious beans. And they're not swimming in water. And we're not quite ready to eat yet, but I do want to go on and add them to my casserole dish. Those are going to be so good. So you guys see, it is so simple to make these delicious pinto beans. And once you get everything in the pot, you just let the pot do what it does. And all of the seasonings you've added, just make sure you keep an eye on it. And if you need to add some hot boiling water, do so. Okay? So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Let's push the nosy and shake something. We thank you so much for just watching our videos. Thank you so much for joining us. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye.